All right, so now we have both jQuery and this thick box plugin and its uh, related CSS uh, sheet linked into our document. Let's uh, see what else we need to do to get this thing working for us. So just going through the documentation online, I see, okay, I downloaded all this stuff, so I downloaded all the stuff I needed, uh, how to implement. So before you could implement, make sure uh, thick box or make sure the page basically has a valid DID. That's the uh, doc type declaration. Now, in your document, you should have this because it's right here at the beginning, and that's that uh, XHTML 1.0 strict. So you can verify that in your own document. So we're good on that front. All right. Uh, this is required for thick box to look and function correctly. Okay. So we we got that taken care of. Thick box requires the jQuery JavaScript library alright so we we've attached that to our file and you'll need to include the jQuery and the thickbox.js okay so we did all this so so far we're on the right track right we got the thickbox compressed and we got the jQuery minified alright we're good um, let's see. Once you have included the JS file, open up Thickbox and or the Thickbox compressed and locate the TB underscore path to image variable at the top of the page. That's exactly what I was saying to you before. Um, since we kind of move stuff in our own folder structure, any links to files, uh, any links to the graphic files for that um, progress bar thing, uh, that's potentially in danger, right? In danger for pointing to the wrong place. But this is telling us that, uh, telling us just to change this variable to make sure we're putting it in the right path. So let's go to the thick box. I'm using the thick box compressed.js and, and look at this. This is cool. Uh, the author, he compressed everything over here except this nice uh, variable so we could work with this. So that's cool. Um, this variable is pointing to a, a folder called images and inside of there is loading that loading animation dot gif now I know I know we downloaded that image here it is I'm looking at it right here but that link is looking for a fault like as though there was uh, actually no no I'm sorry yeah that this this file right here that we're looking at is inside the scripts folder it's this thick box over here so in order for this thing to access this image first it has to get out of the folder that it's in scripts and then go into images and well I mean the link rather needs to do that so this isn't going to cut it alone since I organized my folders that way I'm gonna have to go one directory up Okay, so that should be cool. Um, let's see, what else does it say? It says, once you have found it, make sure to change it to the valid path. Okay, so we got that. It says, inc include the Thickbox CSS web uh, CSS file into your web page. And as a version 3.1, you'll also need to update the path to Mac FFBG. Well, so this is what this seems to me to mean Mac, Firefox, background, hack, dot ping is what I'm assuming. And they didn't actually give us this, right? So um, not not in the initial up download, so I'm going to have to save this file. And here it is. Okay, here's just a black, little black file over here. I'm going to save this, and let's see, where is this? I'm going to put it right there in my images folder, mac.png. All right, so this guy's saying to make sure in my thickbox.css. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, this is the file we're actually looking for. I'm going to copy this to make sure that there's more, in case there's any other references to this. So from here, this is not going to work, right? I'm going to have to this file. Well, let, let's see, uh, so I don't get confused. So. This, this document here is inside my CSS folder. So first I got to get one directory up and out of this folder and then I got to go into my into my images folder and images and there I, and there it is, right? Images. Yeah. Okay. Well that that should be cool. All right. Um let me see. Let me see if there's any other I'm looking to see if there's any other reference to this file anywhere else find all okay all right cool so that's about it so far so good let's see oh, did I lose this guy's uh, 
Oh no, here it is. Thick box. All right, so let's see. So we got that file. We linked it, or open and copy. Okay, he's saying, or you could embed down here. You could embed it into your HTML document. We won't, don't want to do that. Okay, now step three: view samples to learn the many different ways to invoke thick box functionality. Okay.